Hello, welcome to today's episode of Tower TV. I'm Che and this is Elam. We're anchors. anchors. We got a great episode for you today. We're going to start with Joseph, who has a piece on the Hmong New Year celebration. Let's check it out. Every year at East High, Miss Tao, the foreign language teacher, organizes the Hmong New Year play with her Hmong classes. Though you've most likely seen the recent performance back in November, a lot of preparation takes place before showtime. Here's an exclusive behind the scenes of the Hmong New Year play. The reason we're having the Hmong New Year is, is because I'm teaching the two Hmong classes and uh, as my students become more comfortable speaking their language and learning about their history and culture. We wanted to teach about the Hmong people, the reason why they come to this country and get to know a little bit about their culture and language. And also it's a way for my students to showcase their talents because they sometimes they don't have opportunities to show their talents and the Hmong New Year is a perfect opportunity for them to showcase their talent. So what is the Hmong New Year? The Hmong New Year is a celebration to welcome the new year and to send away the old year. Signing off from Tower TV, this is Joseph. Wow, what a fantastic piece. We have such talented students here at East. Yeah. Before we go into our next segment, we're going to check in and see how that construction is going. Here's Austin with that. Yep, it's still going. Here's something special from Nick and UJ. All right, what's up guys? Today we walked around the Pergolder campus to test the knowledge of our fellow Pergolders. If they got all six questions right, they get a shout out. I'm here with... Your mom. Real name? Miles Kimball. Spencer Hesse. Eliana. Samuel. Leo. Okay, so today we're gonna be asking you six questions. You have one minute to answer each question. If you get them all right, you get to shout out whatever you want. First question. What number planet is the Earth from the sun? Um, eight. You're saying, you're saying Earth is eight? Eight? No, seven. Two. Uh, three? Three. It's the third planet from the sun. Is it like three? Yeah. Question number two. How many months have 28 days? One. Yeah. One. Are you sure? Zero. One. None, that's a trick question. Wait, wait, no, February. Yeah, yeah, fe February, February. Bro, come on. All of them. All of them. Question three. A ball and a bat cost together total $1.10, okay? And the bat costs a dollar more than a ball. How much does a ball cost? Can you repeat that? 10 cents. Are you sure? 10 Ooh, no. 10. Your mom. Ten cents. Ten cents. Ten cents. No. Ooh. Twenty cents. <laughs> uh, the ball costs five cents. What's your final answer? Five. Okay. What four states meet at one point? Arizona, Nevada, Utah, and Colorado. Wisconsin. Ooh. Like Colorado, New Mexico, uh, Nevada, and uh, Texas. Colorado. New Mexico, Arizona, and Utah. Utah, Colorado, Arizona, New Mexico. Correct. Colorado? Arizona? One, two. New Mexico? Utah. <laughs> Number five. What is the biggest state? Area wise. Texas. Texas. California? Wait, no, 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 California. California. Uh, Alaska. 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 I'd like to shout out to my boy. Question six. What mountain was the biggest mountain in the world before Mount Everest was discovered? Himalayas. Wait, <laughs> that's not a mountain. That's not a mountain. Dude, I don't know any other mountains. Where is it? Where is it? Yeah. It's right around Mount Everest. Mount Vesuvius. Mount Rushmore. What was that? Um, Mount Everest. 
Mount Everest. Mount Everest. Mount Everest is still the tallest mountain. What would you like to shout out? I got him all right. Uh, follow my TikTok. So according to our sources, we had to disqualify Fifi for some fraudulent behavior. Better luck next time, buddy. Try, bud. Well, that was quite a video. Yeah. Hey, Trey. Yeah. What are some of your passions? Well, ever since I was about yay high, I've always wanted to. Uh... Well, that's the question that Leo and Aiden are asking people at East today. Let's check it out. What's going on, guys? I'm Cooper. Uh, I'm a freshman here at East. Um, I'm also the lead singer of the band Hot Security. Um, We've uh, been playing for a couple months, getting ready to book some shows this coming winter. I'm on the East Wrestling team. The band that we're in with Cooper, Hot Security, I think it's a really fun band. We've been pretty productive. because We've only had two practices and we've already had a song out. And specifically when I meet like other girls in the sport, it's really cool because we like it's like a weird understanding. It's like I know like how they feel and they know how I feel. And it's like yeah, it's just a really weird thing, but like it's just like an unspoken understanding. I took chopsticks around my parents' restaurant, started banging on things, and then my parents thought, hey, maybe you should put them in drum lessons. So when I was four, I started going to drum lessons and ever since I've been drumming for ten years. I never like really pushed myself that hard physically before. Like conditioning is a lot different than like what I had been used to because I had done boxing previously and yeah, I just hadn't pushed myself the same in the same way. I got started in music mostly from my dad. He was an elementary school music teacher, so he like we already always had instruments around the house. Um, so I got a drum set when I was about two or three, and I was really into rhythm instruments for a while. I always liked uh, messing around on my parents' computer as well, you know, producing stuff and that. And um, I mean, I've been always been like a pretty athletic child. Like I just like ran around and climbed trees when I was little, <laughs> littler, and I always like I was never like I think the term would be like I was a dog boy when I was younger, so I was like very into all those kind of things. When you feel like you can't do something, like when you feel like when your mind is telling you that you can't do something and that you're tired, but like you push through it because your body's not tired. And so like that, like yeah, that's like the basic struggle I feel like. And then there's like all the other like kind of like mentally, like comp mental components that come with it that are like, what if I can't do it? Like what if I fail or like what if I lose? It's mostly fun to like, like be with some of your friends and make music together. Um, but then there's also the aspect of like making your own stuff and like putting it out there, which is really cool. I think we could get some recognition as a band, so we could start getting gigs. I don't think it'll be too big, but we could start being a local band. Signing off, this is Aiden and Leo. <sighs> Those are some really interesting passions, right Elon? Sure are. But you know what some kids at this school are passionate about? Making a difference in the world? Yeah, and that's what the next piece by James and Louie is about. Daka Walkout. On November 12th, East High students walked out of class to show support for Daka and Daka recipients. We met up with them outside for a short rally before the march. We are all Americans! We are all Americans! We are all Americans! Yeah! yeah. 
We met up with Cassandra Solano Ramos to discuss what DACA is and what the March hopes to accomplish. DACA stands for Deferred Action for Childhood Arrival, which is a program created during the Obama administration. It was for children who came to the United States at a young age. The requirements were that you had no felonies and you wanted to pursue education and you renew it every two years. So on November 12th was the day the Supreme Court revisited the case, which would mean they would decide whether DACA was unconstitutional or not. They bring billions of dollars into taxes every year and on top of that, they're also creating more jobs. Before heading inside, Representative Chris Taylor came out and gave a speech to the crowd. You make our communities better. You make our state brighter. And we, we are here in solidarity to make sure you continue to have opportunities. And you don't live in fear and your families don't, should never have to live in fear to stay in this state and this country. <laughs> It was a really beautiful thing because it was, I don't remember how cold it was, and East is approximately two miles away from the Capitol, and walking 45 minutes to the Capitol in the cold just kind of proves how important this is, and the people all came out. It just means how much people support it and how much we need it. Signing off for Tower TV, this has been Louie and James. Wow, another show of passionate East students. Yeah, East students are pretty interesting, but the teachers are pretty interesting too. That's why we have a teacher feature about Mr. Dituk coming up next with uh, Austin Austin. Mr. Dituk is the chairman of the East English Department. We met up with him to learn more about him and what he does at East. My responsibilities here at East include department chair for the English Department. I also teach English ninth grade, honors and non-honors, and I also teach AVID 10th grade. I started working here at East in the fall of 2014. Um, I did my student teaching the previous semester with Mr. Wanabo, and I had opportunities to teach at West, and I also had opportunities to teach on the West Side at Memorial, and that just didn't feel like home to me. East felt like home to me, so I wanted to come back and, and work with the community. I graduated college uh, when I was 21, 22 years old. Um, I didn't do anything related to education for about eight years. I worked as a chef slash cook for the athletic department. I've worked at Gordon Commons, which is one of the food destinations downtown for UW students as well. I like to experiment trying new foods, trying different styles of cooking. I love to try different, different things. So. We asked about his personal interests and what he does outside of school. Um, in my free time, I like to play poker. I'm a big Texas Hold'em fan. You will catch me watching reruns of the World Series of Poker on TV every time I get an opportunity. Played some Hold'em in college. It actually helped to pay for some of my expenses in college. So every time I get an opportunity, I, I try to play. I like to say I'm an excellent driver. I'm a very, very attentive driver. I tend to drive uh, just a little above the speed limit. Um, but when I do drive, I think I'm a very, very good driver. So that's my, I think that's my secret talent. Now, uh, I also like to travel. I'm a big fan of traveling. Um, every summer, my fiance and I, we take a family trip to a destination of our choice in the States. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of traveling. Anytime I get the opportunity to see new environments, meet new people, that is something that I like to take advantage of. Signing off for Tower TV, this is Austin Eel Che. What a piece, huh? Yeah. Hey, Che. Hey, Elam. Didn't you want to be a chef when you were younger? Yeah, when I was about yay tall and had hope in my eyes. Well, Denai, Navaya, and Ali got a piece coming up next about holiday cooking. I'm Natalie Aguirre. I'm the culinary arts teacher at East High School. And today I'm going to make English toffee, which is a candy that my family usually has at Christmas time. It's one of our favorites. And so that's why I chose to make it for you today. <laughs>
signing off with Tower TV, this is Navaya, Ale, and Denai. Well, that was a really homey piece. Sure was, Che. And you know what? Winter sports are just around the corner, like hockey. And I know how much you love hockey, Che. Uh, well, I've seen it. That's why you're going to be excited for this next segment, because Michael's got a piece on the hockey team. Let's check it out. The Lakers is a joint hockey team built from East and LaFollette students. We talked to a few of the members about the season and hockey as a whole. I really think the season's going pretty well so far. We're really looking to get better this year. Uh, I think it's going to be a pretty good season. Uh, we always have some challenges to overcome, being one of the only co-op teams in the Big 8. I started playing when I was around four years old. I just loved it ever since. Yeah, I skated when I was young and brought me here. I've actually been playing or coaching since I've been four. Uh, so this is actually about uh, 41 years of my life I've been doing this. It's, it's what I do. I'd say a big challenge is like the competitiveness and everyone wants to win and they're gonna do whatever it takes to win. Uh, it's one of those sports where you just can't uh, decide you're gonna play and become good at something you have to do over a long period of time. I'd say my top things about hockey is uh, probably the teammates, it's so fun in the locker room, and then it's probably scoring goals and getting assists. Probably the speed factor is one of mine and then scoring. I really like the big hits and the team chemistry. There's never a dull moment. Probably uh, how physical it is uh, and just how uh, athletic everybody is too. I think one of the best ways to join is to either talk to a player that already plays or find the coaching information from the athletic department. I want to say, take a shout out to these boys up here. You know, they're pretty sick, so yeah. Signing out from Tower TV, this is Michael, Nick, UJ, and Nico. Can't wait to see them on the ice. Yeah. Now, Che, I know you're a little fashionista, uh, which is why you're going to love this next segment, because Maka and Dexter have a piece on people's fashion in East. Here at East High School, many students choose to express themselves through fashion. We asked a few students what their style means to them. I have like a flower theme going on from this, this tie. It has little vines on it. The shirt hands all the way down to my side. I have on my Bergen stocks. Okay. Very Ooh. comfortable. I have on East High School one of the t-shirts. So I'm wearing a sweater from PacSun, um, American Eagle jeans, and then my white Vans. Some regular black jeans, you know, with some some J's, you know, some simple. Uh, some some pants, and then some some new balances. All right. Head to the toes. We've got Jordans. That's uh, that's shopgoodwill.com. Then we got the Ghost in the Shell T-shirt here, right? Hi, right, dude. Um, I just go over what match. You know, I don't really got no style, but whatever match, that's what I put on. I wanted to be comfortable today because it's early release. Oh, um, why I like fat? Why I like um wearing this? Cause um, you know, like I wear like two jackets because I like jackets a lot. But sometimes when it gets hot, I just like to wear one jacket or I like to wear none. But basically, this is like my favorite jacket because like red's my favorite color and yeah, I just like red. I don't have like an inspiration. I like just everybody around me, I guess. I don't know, social media. Oh, Riff Raff. <laughs> Dude. My dad. Myself. My dad too old to be trying. He, he, he think he fresh, but my dad 40, he ain't got no drill. Charlie from TikTok. Probably the Joker, Luna Lovegood, my dad, Arthur Morgan, uh, Luke Skywalker in the sixth movie, and Frank Zappa. Signing out, this is Dexter and Monica. There sure are some interesting fashion choices here at East. Sure are. Now let's send it over to Michael with the announcements. The Escalera program at East is looking for students in grades 9 through 12 to apply. Escalera promotes economic mobility through increasing academic achievement, facilitating career planning, and providing information about advanced careers. The components of the program include tutoring, career workshops, guest speakers, resume building workshops, ACT, SAT prep, and summer internships. Interested students should come to Escalera kickoff on January 27th in room 1040F or just stop by 1040F to get more information from sponsor Marco Espinoza. Ever wanted to create your own video projects? Join the Goodman Center Video Club Mondays after school here at East in the Media Lab, room 1057E. Come make your own videos with professional software, and while you're at it, eat some snacks. You'll have access to equipment, support, and knowledgeable staff. All students are welcome. 
There will be a girls' soccer preseason meeting tomorrow, December 17th at 5.30 p.m. in LMC Purple. All students who are interested in playing in the spring should plan on attending. We will discuss winter practices, workouts, and tryouts. For more information, please contact Mr. Schrader. See you there. This has been Tower TV. I'm Elam. And I'm Che. Have a good morning. And in case I don't see you, bye.